Hey, today is part one of HQST solar panel review and setup. So let's begin. You can order this from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for you. I got the 400 watt MPPT kit. Four pieces, nine BB. So nine connections to the solar, the monocrystalline solar panels. Let's see, I bought this for $300. It's $379.99 with $80 coupon at the moment. So that brings the same price I got it for Prime Day. Uh, 32 by 26 by 18 height. HQST 400 watt solar panel starter kit offers a 22-23% high conversion rate and produces an average of 2 kilowatts of electricity per day, I guess depending on the sun. 9 BB monocrystalline solar panels can reduce the risk of micro cracks and provide longer service life than conventional 5 BB panels. Bypass diodes can ensure the panels have more have an excellent excellent what Chinese LCD screen display and remote monitoring a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller with built-in Bluetooth module for remote monitoring parameter setting via the app. The app is called Charge Pro 2.0. Temper glass cover and touchscreen buttons make perimeter setting easier. You can set additional stuff in the app, like if you have a lithium ion, that's only in the app you can set that at. Built to last, yada yada yada. Let's see, um, because of all connectors, temp temperature sensor for the battery if you have the charge controller outside. Since lithium ion batteries cannot be charged below 32 degrees, I guess it would cut that off. Some pictures, what comes in the kit. Some uh, description of what it does. Max power 100 watts, open circuit voltage 24.3. Twelve volt or twenty-four volt battery packs or ba battery banks, all those types of technology or chemistry for the batteries. Parallel or series? I think I'm gonna do mine in parallel, as it seems like it's easier. Since I'm probably gonna add more solar panels in the future. If you were curious, <coughs> series versus parallel in solar panels. If solar panels are linked end to end, creating a chain like configuration the positive terminal of one panel is connected to the negative terminal of the next increasing the overall voltage of the system the current remains the same as that of a single panel and for parallel solar panels are connected side by side with the positive terminals connected to each other and the negative terminals likewise this configuration increases the current ter current output while maintaining the same voltages as individual panels uh, improved shading tolerance. If solar panel becomes shaded, you more, have more consistent power output. Flexibility adding or removing panels is easier. As each panel operates independently and easier to troubleshoot. If one panel is faulty, it won't affect the entire system. So that's what I think I'm going to go for. You can see here in parallel, you have you connect two two panels positive to one of the connectors, and that goes out to that one. It plugs into your MPPT controller and for the second half you do the same thing and that's the connectors that came shipped with the solar panels so it's a no-brainer unless you want to go out and buy new things I did get an inline fuse and I did get the ANL fuse just to do it right and the reviews well, it's not a fish hook so that's good Alright, let's go outside and uh, open this box up. Hey y'all, Jason, KO4DDG. Today, we are going to unbox a solar panel by HQST. This was an Amazon special, cost about $300 out the door. So let's go take a look what's in the box. This is the package it came in. A little walk around, see how beat up it got. Got pretty beat up, but hopefully there's nothing broken inside. 
Let's get to unboxing. I got some good corner protection going on there. I'll have to lay down the camera to do this. Okay, the box is now empty. There wasn't any damage to any other solar panels, which is good. And there's our accessory box. Inside here is gonna be a MPPT solar controller. It's right there. It's gonna be the instruction manual, which I might read. It's gonna come with some hookup wires, some PV wire, some connectors, more connectors, more connectors, some mounting hardware for the solar panels, and another cable. It's gonna be your temperature sensor put on your batteries so it doesn't get charged when it's cold. And here's gonna be our hardware box. Two of those. And something. And we're gonna lift up one of these panels. See what's on the other side. Gonna be your what hookup wire to probably goes to some of those cables that is pulled out of the box to connect your solar panel to your battery or your MPTT controller. So let's get this hooked up and see what it can do. Now here's a closer look at the MPPT controller. It's made of glass. It's got warnings all over the place. It's made of glass. Got your temperature input, your RS-485. I'm not sure what that's for yet. PV negative and positive. So your solar panels plug into those two left to right. And your battery plugs into those. You got a heavy duty heat sink on the bottom. And on the side you got the tag. Tony, what kind it is. And that side doesn't have anything. Here's the handy dandy wiring diagram. Shows you where things go. There's your solar panel. Connects to the PV slot. And there's your battery. Connects to the battery slot. You ground the MPPT. And okay, the RS is for a remote LCD monitoring screen. And the Bluetooth model is optional, it says, but thought for sure this thing said it had Bluetooth. So I have to check that out. Now behind this cover is where you will screw in the connections. So I'm just going to loosely do this for testing. Follow the negative lead here and you can see what kind of connector that is. Find a connector that corresponds to that which is this one. We'll plug that into the negative terminal. Strip this away. That one's tight. Move on to the positive.
And we'll go outside and see if it will turn on with the sun. Okay, I went ahead and hooked it up to a battery. And now we're reading PV, so solar and the battery. Still can't read the screen in the sun though. Barely. Very bad display. So we got 13.7. And we got 13.7 volts from the battery. It's 100% charged, so it's not going to do nothing. Need to find a deader battery. See if I can run this battery down some. Now, how much wattage can you expect out of one panel? Well, for the panel, look here, we got six watts, how it's sitting now. If we tilt it up towards the sun, see it went up to 19 watts. Set the aim at the sun. This is a 100 watt panel with efficiency like 75%, so we should at least see 75 watts from it. If the sun is going to be nice to us right now. Which it don't look like it's going to be nice to us right now. Okay, I hooked up an inverter and a small heater to it. Just give a little bit of a drain to the battery. Go ahead and set the heater on high. Open up the app. Open up the app Charge Pro. Make sure you're connected to Bluetooth. Connected. And for some reason the battery went all the way down to 70 percent. Huh. We'll continue to monitor this for a minute. Towards 93 degrees, it's in the sun. It's not designed to be outside. And there, after opening up the box and setting everything up, my uh, <laughs> thoughts on it so far. I'm not sure what's up with the sun, but I only got, what, 40, 42 watts out of one panel for the testing phase. We are coming into winter time, so the sun's probably not as hot as it needs to be, or bright, or however that works. One thing I didn't like is the battery cables for the tray from the MPPT controller they supplied. They're all the same color, so you just have to make sure you got the right color or get some electrical tape and red and marker cable but we'll see on part two after i set it up outside all four panels connected to each other and connected to an inverter and see what we get so we'll catch you later